Shad here with SpeedX Fast Growing Gear site on the web, and today we are going to uncreate the Alpine Stars SMX Plus V2s. Before we jump in and give you a full rundown on the Alpine Stars SMX Plus V2s, go ahead and subscribe. That helps keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide you'd like to purchase a set of boots from Speed Addicts, don't worry, there's a link in the description below to shop for these boots or any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. Alpine Stars, you've heard the name. It started out as a little uh, startup in Italy making boots in the 60s. So boots are their bread and butter. Six decades of experience and bringing you feedback from MotoGP, top racers in the world to produce an excellent product. The SMX Plus V2 is bridging the gap between their ultra race MotoGP ready Supertech R's and their slightly more streetable SMX 6s. So these are kind of smack dab in the middle. These are my go-to track day boot and spirited street riding. They provide a lot of the same features as a Supertech R, but they don't have that booty to struggle with. That's why I like them. I think uh, for me personally, uh, the booty's a little bit of overkill. These are a little bit less money. So I've ridden these a lot. I really, really like them. They hold up great. They got the protection where it counts. And we're gonna give you the full rundown right now. So the price, about $100 less than that Supertech R at 419. They are also a little bit lighter because they don't have the booty, uh, the separate booty situation. So two pounds, six ounces for one size 10. It's about a quarter ounce or quarter ounce lighter than the Supertech R. They're C certified, which is the European health and safety standard. And the fitment, this is the number one takeaway from this video. Alpine Stars Road Boots run a full size too big. Uh, so when you're looking up the size chart, you're gonna see these are in Euro sizes on our website from 40 to 48. You need to translate that into your US sneaker size. That's gonna run from seven to 13. Let me show you how that works real quick here. We're gonna open this up and show you the sizing on the inside of this boot. <clears throat> so if you look at this size panel here, whoops. All right, you see these are 45s. That translates into a US 10 and a half. This boot is suitable for a US 11 and a half. See what I'm saying? You need to move down a full size, otherwise they'll be too big and you'll have to return them. But don't worry, if you buy your next set of boots at Speed Addicts, not only will you have faster lap times, but we have no cost returns. As long as you're in the United States, the boots are in new, uh, unused condition with all the original packaging. A couple clicks, you get a free return label. Give us a shot, we'll treat you like family. So, let's go back and talk about these boots from top to bottom. First up, they come in two different variants. The one you see in front of me, is the vented version. That means it is perforated. Whoops. The leather is perforated down low, up high. These are gonna flow the most air. The standard version also flow a decent amount of air, but they are not perforated, less air. So you pick, if you're riding in hot conditions, go with the vented. Now, if you're riding in wet conditions, go get the SMX6 Dry Stars. They don't have a Dry Star version in the SMX Pluses, so that may be a deciding factor for you. But like I said, these are most at home track days or spirited street riding. Let's show you how you jump in. One of the big differences between the SMX6 and the Plus or the Supertech R is the lateral entry point. So that's gonna allow you to have a flatter surface on the inside, no big flaps or zippers over here to make better contact with the side of your machine. So I do like that, that's why I like to ride these on both the street and the track days because I like the, uh, the lateral entry point. So you're gonna undo this ratchet up at the top, straight forward like most of their uh, street or sport boots. We're gonna open that up, and then you have the zipper here. We'll pull that down. One feature they carried over from the Supertech R is this rubberized billow here. That is, over the years, if you don't have that accordion there, it's really gonna stretch, stretch that zipper to its limits. So this helps you get in and out without over, um, cranking that zipper. Okay, inside, like I said, you don't have the booty like the Supertech R. What you have is the cinch system. So if you wanna get in, you can loosen that up, jump right into this guy, and then once you're in place, pull, cinch that down, and they've got this polymer locking mechanism up here on the top. You're gonna to slide that down, and you're gonna be in decent shape. Inside is their 3D mesh liner, and their mesh liner runs all the way down to the back of the heel, which is also, whoops, vented, whoops, on the outside, there's the vent. So you're gonna get nice airflow from front to back in this boot. 
One thing I forgot to show you on the inside because you couldn't see it is their footbed. So this is their insole. It's super vented. There's not a whole lot to it. If you need more support, you can remove these and put in whatever insole you want that will uh, fit inside of here. And a note on the width, these run pretty average width. I have wide feet and uh, 13 sneaker. I wear the 12 uh, in these guys and they're right on the money. Okay, let's talk about the exterior protection. You have TPU zones in the shin. Hard shin protector, TPU stands for thermoplastic polyurethane. It is not quite a hard plastic and is not a soft rubber. It's somewhere in between. Provides impact protection as well as a low coefficient of friction as when you want to hit the, if you should hit the pavement, you are gonna want to slide. So the TPU zones are also down here on the heel. You have a crush zone here. So lots of heel protection, this heel box. The toe box is also reinforced, nice sturdy toe box. Uh, as far as the heel slider that is replaceable. You see a couple of screws here to take that out. And the toe slider also fully serviceable, replaceable with that little Allen screw right there. You can swap that out. Uh, when it comes to the ankle protection, you're gonna have their multi-link system. So this almost looks similar to some of the systems they run on their motocross boot. And it's gonna give you that lateral protection, not just on the outside, but also on the inside. It's gonna protect your ankle from lateral forces, but also from a slide. It's gonna protect that ankle bone. There's plenty of padding inside of this thing also. And then unlike some of the, the SMX6, you also get their blade system here on the back. Again, this looks similar to some of the systems they run in motocross, and it's gonna protect you from hypercompression or hyperflexion from going too far back or too far forward in layman's terms. On the front, you're gonna have that accordion panel here that's gonna make these nice and walkable right out of the box. Uh, not much break-in required. You also have the billows on the back. So nice, comfortable boot right out of the box. All right, let's check out the sole of the SMX Plus. You'll notice it's a little different than the SMX6s or some of the SMX series boots. This is a racier sole. It doesn't have quite as many treads uh, patterns cut into this, so it's not gonna be quite as tacky, especially out on those slick streets or intersections where oil or, or wet might come into play. So be warned there. I do street ride in this boot quite a bit. It usually doesn't give me any trouble, but I didn't, wouldn't necessarily wanna take it out in the wet like I told you before. So a uh, nice racy sole, gonna give you good contact with that peg, nice feel. You do have a steel shank uh, that's molded into the sole to distribute that weight over the entire sole instead of riding up into your arch. Again, SMX Plus, my pick for a very streetable yet track day ready boot. It's gonna provide you lots of ankle heel protection. You got the accordion billows just like the Supertech are. A great alternative, you're gonna save some money and about a quarter pound in weight, which makes it a really hot pick over here. We sell tons of these boots. If you got questions still, Speed Addicts are standing by through email, live chat, and phone support. Or if you already got a set of these, let us know how you like them in the comment section below or ask any question you need to. Our team will get back to you right away. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.